That's it. We got our new exotic that we've been waiting for. Let's let's take a look at it. Actually, I just got it between doing this and I didn't even notice. I got to level 91. Like I said, sometimes you get two levels. One after the other. So we got also the same Elman's engine blueprint. And uh, yeah, let's see. Anything else? Alright, that's it. So let's go right here. And there it is. It comes with load, with load speed now? Wait. On the PTS, it was Raid of Fire. Alright, let's say that you just got your Saint Elements engine, the new exotic assault rifle that comes on ER5 Season 1, which is right now in the game. So, let's say you just got that. There is one thing that you should do right away to take the most advantage of your exotic assault rifle for damage. So, I'll show you guys today on this video, which is gonna be the um, attribute that comes on the weapon itself now mine came with 10 percent reload speed now with that said actually i want to ask you guys comment down below what attribute it came for you guys on your saint elmond's engine because on the pts the gun itself was dropping with rate of fire and now on the live game it's dropping with at least for me it dropped with reload speed so i believe maybe now the exotics come with a random attribute because there is the fact that you can change that and that's what i'm gonna show you guys today on this video now with that said again comment down below what attribute it rolled for you guys okay so this is the same elements engine you guys can see it right there the new exotic assault rifle one of my favorite exotic assault rifles in the game since the pts this thing is just a beast and i just got it and i did want to make this video as soon as possible as soon as i got it to show you guys the first thing you should do and uh let's go and do that now if you guys are new to the game exotic weapons a lot of them you cannot change the uh, attribute on it right it's a specific attribute that it comes with and that's been like that before and you cannot change that so you have to roll with that so with that said though they are trying to bring new exotics with random attribute just like the same animals engine where you can change that attribute for whatever that you want and i honestly i like that that way my exotic can take more benefits out of it so what you need to do is come right here on the base of operation on the crafting station in washington dc actually anywhere right you just need to be on the crafting station right and in here we're gonna do this we're gonna go on weapons and we're gonna go right here on this tab for exotics we're gonna scroll down until we find the sand ailments engine and it's about right here sand ailments engine blueprint uh, reconfiguration so we do get the blueprint at level 91 from the um, season pass and you know that's what i got it so now what you have to do is select it uh, that's the weapon that we have it has reload speed on it we're gonna select that and to reroll it you need exotic components i have 68 and then also we need receiver components steel carbon fiber and the item itself which is what i have so let's craft that and see what we can get. Okay, it came with accuracy. Let's have we have to do once more time. Select that, craft it. Hopefully it doesn't take long though. And there he is. Alright, second try. And he's actually very, very good uh rolls. I just have to get that XR rifle maxed out, and that's it. That's the perfect uh, core attribute and attribute that you want on assault rifles. Attribute damage target out of cover a max of 10%. Please do that as soon as you as possible. You do not want to mess with this weapon before you have that attribute right there because damage target out of cover is a lot of damage that you can add to your weapon. And with that said, now I'll come right here on the. I have to go on optimization. I forgot. And then on the optimization. I'll go on and uh, send Elmo's engine. I'll go on the assault rifles and I can optimize it. And I have all of those, you know, materials that, that I need on the bottom. So let's optimize this, get it to the max. I'm gonna need some materials. Huh? And now I need uh, 25 
and 15 so 25 of that i'm gonna come right here looking for something special optimization actually hold on i have some caches let's open those caches first for optimization let's see what we get nah no also oh, come on oh last one and no so gotta come right here on the crafting go down to optimization and i'll scroll all the way down for this one right here the true sans uh tactical assessment so i have 14 i need 25 i believe so i'm gonna craft that this is the materials that cost me so i'll just craft that that's it i have 34 now that should be enough let's see optimize saw rifle saint elmas engine and that's it that's enough to get it to 15 percent assault rifle damage let's get that going and now we have a fully optimized attributes and core attributes on this weapon we are gonna mark that as favorite remember that's a very important thing to do so you don't um accidentally delete it you don't want that but yeah that's what we're gonna do and now i can actually put it at expertise level 22 because i have enough resources so now that we have the perfect um attributes and core attribute now all we need to do is the expertise rank so let's go there expertise uh if you have these materials you can do it right now or you can just play with a gun and level it up i do have a lot of materials so donate materials i'm gonna use the printer filament so let's donate this and uh, let's get it to max level and it's proficient so the weapon now it's proficient and now i can upgrade it and get it uh you know with the expertise level which is gonna give me one percent uh, weapon damage for every level so those are the materials that we need let's start doing that this is gonna cost me a lot thankfully i have a lot of materials though i was i was farming before these update drops that way i had everything ready for this just for this gun itself though that's how much i wanted to play with this gun if you don't like you you need to get this gun and see how good this gun is not even just for the talent it's just, like the gun itself is just good okay now we're gonna get to uh, exotic components territory so we're gonna need one exotic component that do let's do that actually we're gonna need some um some of these also so let's get some of that first what i can do is go on my watch go right here uh let's get about i don't know how many i need but i'm gonna put 50 let's claim 50 and let's do this expertise again weapon go on the st elmas engine and let's upgrade this let's see so we had 58 i mean six, 68 exotic components let's see how much we're gonna have at the end of this all right need more so another 50 let's do that let's grab that expertise weapon uh, 
Oh, we're not gonna have enough, do we? No, we're gonna have actually just enough. <laughs> we're gonna have just enough exotic components for level 20, though. Uh, expertise level. I don't know if I want to put on 23. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get one more of those watch going. I can put a 23 if I want. I have more ways of getting ex exotic components right now. Uh, expertise, let's go on assault rifle. Send Elma's engine. Let's do that. And that's 20. Actually, I'm going to leave it on 20 for now. So this is it. Uh, at least if you get it on 20, that's good enough. The Sand Elmond's engine. I have it with perfect edge core attributes. Perfect attribute. 20% uh, weapon damage from the expertise level. I could put it on 23 right now. Like I said, I have ways of getting exotic right now. Uh, components. I have a video on the channel that I showed how you guys can get exotic components. If you guys want to check that out. But uh, yeah, I cannot wait now. I can finally start using this weapon. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoy, a like on it would be super appreciated. Subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody.